If you run an e-commerce business, you're about to see three AI workflows that could save you dozens of hours on supplier sourcing, product research, and competitive analysis. So Alibaba.com, which is the leading e-commerce company in the whole world, launched an AI agent and platform called Axio. And I've gotten the opportunity to see that platform before it even launched. And I even interviewed the president of Alibaba.com about AI. Now you can see that full video and interview here. But for this video, I wanna focus on something much more practical. I'm gonna assume that you're a business owner or you're interested in becoming a e-commerce business owner. And so I want you to watch this video for the next eight or so minutes and walk away with at least one specific workflow that will measurably save you time or money or effort by implementing in your business today. So that is this video. We're going to use the Axio agent, which I'll, I'll get into is really awesome for a whole lot of reasons for e-commerce owners specifically. And then we're going to dive into some specific use cases and workflows for e-commerce business owners. And even if you don't directly have an e-commerce business right now, you can watch this, you can get an idea of what this tool can do and how it could benefit you in a lot of other situations down the line or in a different type of business right now. So again, Axio is an AI sourcing engine and agent, and it's made up of a collection of different specialized models that are tied into the data that's part of Alibaba.com. And again, Alibaba.com is the largest e-commerce platform in the world. They facilitate basically a quarter of global e-commerce, which is an insane number to think about, just that kind of scale. And so they have hundreds of millions of listings. They have millions of sellers and buyers. And all that data is what gets rolled into the Axio product. So we can access all that kind of supplier data and product data and buyer and seller data. In addition to relying on the base models like ChatGPT or Gemini of the overarching Alibaba company, which has some of the leading base AI models in the world. So it's built specifically for e-commerce buyers and sellers, and that's why it's so powerful across these specific applications. And it is those specific applications that we're going to demo over the next few minutes. Now, I think you're really going to like this and what the agent can do for you. And learning by doing is always better than if you just sit here and watch me. So what I highly recommend is go to this link on the screen or the link in the description, try Axio completely for free, just sign up right now, and then keep one tab there open, watch this video on another tab, and then try out Axio for yourself while you watch this video. Again, it is totally free for you just to give it a test spin. You already clicked on this video, so I assume you're interested in this. And the reason I'm saying that is you are going to get more out of this video if you go ahead and do that. Like I'm not paid on an affiliate basis. I'm not gonna be compensated if you sign up, but half the point of you watching this video is so that you can go and actually use that tool specifically much more efficiently. And if you do wanna sign up for the pro plan, you can use this code on the screen. And again, just click on the link in the description to apply that. And that said, let's get into workflow number one. Okay, so this is the Axio homepage that you're seeing on the screen now. It is as simple as it looks. You just describe what you want right here. Now, the first of the three workflows that we're gonna dive into is finding new suppliers for a current product. So for a lot of you that already work in e-commerce, this is a very easy way to materially see an immediate gain in your business. You have a current product, you can find a better supplier, either cheaper, or better quality or some combination thereof. So, so what we can do here is just tell Axio what it is that we want. I'll start by going to GPT and saying, generate the specs for a popular kind of e-commerce good. And then what looks like wireless Bluetooth earbuds. So what I'll do is I'll copy some of this and then I'll go back to Axio and I'll say, I have a product along these specs. So you want to paste in exactly the kind of specs you have on your existing product. And I want to find better suppliers that match these exact specs and are top quality or cheap. Help me find suppliers and write me supplier inquiry letters. And that part is important because what Axio is going to do is not just find you suppliers through the custom data on the Alibaba.com platform that it accesses, but is also gonna actually write letters in the platform to those suppliers for us to make sure that they meet all of those uh, specs and to see whether they can send a sample or continue the conversation. 
So I started the conversation here. This is agent mode that needs to be turned on. So I haven't turned it on yet. I'm going to turn it on now. Uh, and then it, this is the project that it has created. So it's going to search for suppliers. It's going to analyze the capabilities, generate inquiry emails, and generate a sourcing report. Let's go ahead and click start now. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and we can see that the report has been completed. Uh, and what essentially it says it found is 10 qualified earbud manufacturers that align with our exact specifications. And you can actually see those matches. So for example, right here under matches, I can see those exact specs. So the kind of the Bluetooth tech, um, I'm not an expert on that. 10 millimeter dynamic drivers, USB-C charging, TWS, uh, ICSO certified. All the actual specs that you want are actually matched with these specific suppliers. Uh, and what we can do is we can click on the suppliers if we want their full profile right here. And then we can also scroll down and we can see different inquiries that were generated for us. Now this, it looks like, is a technical specifications compliance analysis. So you can see based on what we told the agent, we wanted to compare the premium suppliers or the quality side of it along with the cost side. And this is the different details there. And I'm sure you'll be more interested in reading through a report like this when it's your own product. Uh, and then as far as the actual inquiry letters. So what it did is it picked out some of those top suppliers and then it said it generated wrote letters for us to those suppliers. So, hey, I'm looking for this kind of product. Here are the specs that I want to meet. Essentially, can you do this? If so, quote it, right? So what I can do, I can hit edit and send inquiry that I can just fill out my name, my company name, I click send now, and that real supplier on Alibaba just actually got this inquiry from me. Now, one useful thing here as well, you can go to the top right, you can click PDF document download, and what you'll do is you'll get that report in PDF form. So very nice format if you do wanna share that with other people on your team. Okay, that was workflow number one. And now for workflow number two, we're gonna think more about a new product and what you can do with Axio there. So that right there was you have an existing product and you can materially find better suppliers or cheaper suppliers for it with Axio. Now workflow number two is more focused a little bit earlier on that whole this, the stage or process of a business. So let's say you have an idea for a new product, maybe your first, maybe your hundredth, but you don't have the details quite uh, in stone yet. You don't have the supplier for it and you don't have the actual specs for the product detailed. So in that case, what we can do is we can describe our idea and Axio is going to do a few things. One, it's going to craft designs for the product so we can visualize what it could look like. Two, it's going to match specs that go along with those designs. So the dimensions, the color theme, the material for the actual product. And then three, it can find us suppliers who based on those designs and specs can go and send us samples of those products so we can figure out what we like and go from there. So what I'm gonna do is go back to ChatGPT where we just had a little conversation here. And what I'll say is generate a good e-commerce product idea. Let's just see what GPT comes up with. And we have a modular desk organizer. We'll go ahead, we'll go with that. Okay, so I'll go back to Axio, I'll say, I have an idea for a modular desk organizer system. And this is a pretty novel product, right? Get me designs for the product. Think through different specs for the product. It's just an idea right now that help me find manufacturers for it. Okay, so I put the message in here. It came up with a plan. So the modular desk organizer development and sourcing. I click start now with agent mode turned on. You can see that right here. That is pretty important. And now it's going through and executing. Okay, our modular desk organizer system development and sourcing report is being completed. What we can do is read through this. It looks like there's a key, key market drivers, then consumer pain points and preferences, so more on the market research side of it. And then we get into the product specifications. So things like the modularity, smart integrations, customization, material requirements. So it looks like the options here presented were bamboo, recycled plastics, and sustainable wood composites and 
This is the fun part, my personal favorite, for example. Uh, these are the design concepts for the system. So we can see right here, we have those three different materials turned into design concepts. So we could pick our favorite here. I personally like the kind of black metallic look in the middle there. With advanced configuration options, real world applications, and there are a lot of designs here, a lot of different images so you can get an idea of what you want. And that is often one prompt. So that completes that side of it. And then maybe we wanna look for suppliers to see what they can actually do, right? So taking this from concept to the actual prototype stage. And we have tier one recommended suppliers that Axio has found for us. And we can see the little matches right here. And this matches what we searched for, but we can also see what's not available there. So things like snap fit assembly. And if we scroll down, we can see some more of those suppliers and also the inquiry letters that were generated. So Axio wrote letters for us to those actual top suppliers that we saw right here. And all we have to do is click edit and send inquiry. That's two buttons, it gets sent, and then we'll be able to see what the actual supplier on the ground can do for us. So there we go. If you have an idea, that is how to get it a little more grounded using AI. Okay, now for workflow number three, let's shift gears a little bit to more of the research and the analysis side, and you'll see what I mean in a second here. Okay, so for demo number two, that was even earlier versus demo number one on the ideation chain. But if we go back to just the first stage, you might not even have a formula related idea for a product yet. You might be at the stage of, hey, I know I want to sell something or I know a market that I like, but you don't know what it is specifically that you want to create. And Axio was perfect for that kind of market research very early in the ideation process. Okay, so I'll come back to ChatGPT and I'll say, come up with 10 wacky markets that are specific in which I could sell e-commerce goods. Let's see what it comes up with. We'll choose one of those and use it for our demo. Wow, that is that is oddly specific. Professional nappers, extreme hot sauce collectors. I like that one. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to Axio and I'm gonna say that I want to make a product in the extreme, or let's say four extreme hot sauce collectors but I don't know what and how big this opportunity is. I want you to do market research about the space, do a competitor analysis, and come up with product ideas for this demographic. So the full-on market research stage of a business. Then we'll turn on agent mode and let's see what it does. So here's our extreme hot sauce collector market research and competitor analysis. So it looks like the global hot sauce market grows, wow, it's actually going to nearly triple from 2024 to 2034, which is a compounded annual growth rate of about 10%, which is not shabby at all. And it looks like the US premium or extreme segment is about, I'm gonna stay, is about 30% of that currently. And then we have consumer demographics and behavior. So it looks like uh, millennials predominantly collect premium hot sauce in Generation X. Then we have the competitor analysis, so some different uh, brands that are out there and kind of the approach they take or positioning. So collector versus niche innovation versus heat challenge. And then let's just scroll to the fun part here. These are product development concepts. So Axio came up with unique new products that we could sell to extreme hot sauce collectors. So this is actually, this is really, this is impressive. Ultra premium limited edition. It's like a Japanese style Reaper fusion uh, with a luxury black glass bottle and holographic labels. Nice, I like that one. Uh, we can scroll down, we have another uh, little mock-up there. Then we have uh, Artisanal Global Heat Trilogy. I don't like that, that idea as much. I feel like a lot of people have done that. Uh, Tech-enhanced AR experience sauce. That would be pretty epic. If you can build it, you should go and do that. Uh, but my, I'm, I'm picking number one for this. I think that would be a, a unique take on it. Then we have a go-to-market strategy and competitive advantages and 
billion dollar opportunity right there. Now, what you would want to do next in this situation is return now to the previous demo where we took this idea. So we could plug in these actual design images. We just download them. We, we press right here and save image as. Uh, we could download those to the computer. We could plug it back into Axio right here, turn on agent mode and say, hey, find me suppliers, come up with specs with the bottle I need, and then let's go get this actual product prototyped. And so you can see how at every kind of stage of this, you can work AI into it. It should save you a lot of time. And those are some, I mean, this one for me is that's a production ready photo. That's something that you could stick or I would stick on a website. Okay, that said, there's a secret bonus workflow in just a second here that I'm really excited to show you. Before that, you've seen a lot of the ways in which Axio can help you by watching this video. And so again, if you didn't do it before, it is completely free to give Axio a test spin. You can click the link in the description or head to axio.com. Just sign up and try one of the workflows and see if you like it. And if you do ever want to subscribe to a pro plan or upgrade your account from the free plan, just use this code on the screen and you'll get 10% off your first month of the pro plan. And that said, let's get into bonus workflow number four. What this tool does, and it's a little more complex, but what it does is it takes trends out there on the internet in real time, so say once every day, and then it automatically finds the best trend that you could turn into a real world product. It feeds that into Axio and then it generates designs supplier inquiries, et cetera. It basically builds trending products for you in real time. And what you could do there is use that just for an idea, right? You wake up, you see the best idea of the day for a product, see what you sell as a kind of idea, kind of generation uh, vehicle or machine. Or you could also tie this into then the actual store side of it. So if you sell on an e-commerce store, you could actually just go find suppliers for that product automatically and then go ahead and list a product pretty quickly on that store to keep up with trends as frequently or not frequently used you would like. Now, this is the video where I built that tool. It's called I Automated E-commerce with AI Agents. This was a few months ago. And if you go to the description right here and you click on this Google Drive link, that's all fully public. And then you can go to this Google document. You'll see the actual code that you can just paste into a code editor. If you do that, then you can set how often you want that to run. It'll go generate the product, uh, or excuse me, the trends for you. It'll plug it into Axio as long as you have an account. And there you go. You'll have a fully automated trend discovery e-commerce system built for your business. Okay, there you go. That final little workflow was my personal favorite of the bunch just because it, it utilizes, you know, it pulls in these other tools. And I think there's a lot more that you can do there, especially considering tools like N8N and make.com and Zapier. So I hope you enjoyed that as well. I hope you found something useful that you can materially take away from this whole video. Again, that's my goal in making content like this. That said, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.